Alright guys, so this video is for players who have an idea on how to maintain blue fire by reserve system, have an idea about ultra turn and air break, but have problems keeping it on oxide station because they keep bumping or rubbing the wall. If you still do not have any idea on what blue fire and reserves are, please check the link on the description below the video. Here I will be providing you with some tips which focus on using the trucks, bumps and air brake. Air brake because it gives you more time to switch buttons and going slow with the reverse button. Please take note that I will make use of the speed driving style. Oxide station is one of the difficult tracks to maintain blue fire on. This is very crucial if you want to get to top 3 online because you can go one lap without it while the others already lapping you or having an insane distance from you already by the time you start the next lap. If you are ever wondering how the others can maintain fire while pressing the brake button for ultra turn, I will give you an idea. You know that to do a successful U-turn, you need to release the acceleration button, then hold brake, reverse, and the turn buttons, right? Pressing brake alone eliminates fire and reserves, but it is a different story if you press the reverse button alone. See the video. We will now analyze the track segment by segment, beginning at the big jump after the outer space area. If you have been building your reserves before the blue fire pad, then you can just keep driving straight here. Otherwise, you can at least do one turbo boost, as shown in the video. Then just go over to two or three turbo pads. Next, the right turn. Before I learned how to properly do an ultra turn, I was making use of the truck's bumps. It's a little more difficult to recognize the bumps in Oxide Station due to how it is laid out unlike in Tiny Arena where it is really visible. Anyway, I used these bumps to get an air time which would allow me to pull off an air brake. An air brake is basically similar to a U-turn as you press the same buttons except that you have more leeway for an air brake because of your air time. To pull off an air brake, jump on a bump and release the acceleration button, then hold brake, reverse, and turn button. This tech is what we are going to utilize for the majority of these crucial points. Back to the truck itself. Before the right turn, look at this bump here. Drive towards here and jump, then air brake. Next is this segment. You can choose to power slide to the upward slope if you doubt you have enough reserves or drive normally while aligning your cart to the track. Once you are around before the peak of this track line, drum. No need for an air brake really. Next is the segment before the finish line. I will first show you the bumps which you can use for an air brake. You can insert at least one turbo slide before the first bump or nope if you are confident on your reserves. For the first bump, stay at the left side and then air brake towards left. Drive straight, then you will see this bump here. Jump here for an air brake. Here you can either choose to go for the left bump or just drive straight. If you pick the former, use the same technique as what we did in the first bump, then jump towards the fourth bump, then air brake to the left. For the latter, drive towards the turbo pad and keep right without rubbing the wall. Use the bump then jump. I 
I won't cover the curve here since this can be done by a mix of power sliding and jumping. We are now at the final part which I believe is the most difficult. I will provide you with two ways to approach this segment. The first one is to release the acceleration button completely and focus on the ultra turn buttons. Let the fire itself push your cart. Turn right, left, right, then left. The second one is to utilize the concept of keeping fire while holding the reverse button. For this method, release every button and just hold reverse. You will notice that you are slowing down with the fire still going. If you want, you can mix jumping for better handling. Thank you for watching, if you learned a thing or two, cheese that like button and don't forget to subscribe!